Hey everyone, my name is Jesse Jennings and welcome to our 2023 Plaid New Product Showcase. Every year we spend a week going over all of our brand new products that we've developed and launched throughout the year and let you guys know the features and benefits, some inspiration and fun ways to craft with them. So today we'll be talking about our new Sugar Metallic and our new Folk Art Flat. So we've got Emma here in the studio with some beautiful projects. She's gonna do some demonstrations for us, um, tell us the features and benefits and really awesome ways you guys can use our new paints. Um, I just want to let you know, as we're going live all week, we'll be doing giveaways. So at every session, we'll be giving away a bundle of our brand new products. So make sure to stick around till the end. Make sure to comment on Facebook, and we'll choose a name at the end of every session to do a giveaway. We also have a sale on Plaid Online uh, this week. So make sure to check that out, plaidonline.com slash new, to see all the new products we'll be talking about. And the sale is 30% off of $70 or more on all new products. So make sure to check that out. Now's a really great time to snag some of our new uh, formulas. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to pass it over to Emma, who's going to be talking about our Folk Art Sugar Metallic and our Folk Art Flat. Awesome. Thanks, Jesse. I am really excited to be here with you all to demonstrate um, two really exciting new product lines under our folk art umbrella. It feels like a national holiday, Jesse, yeah. when we have new <laughs> product showcase. Um, I'm always really excited to share with you, like Jesse said, some of the features and benefits of these really great paints. Um, we always get so excited in the studio when we have new product lines because we get to um, test it and make some really beautiful projects with it. So hopefully by the end of our demonstration today, um, you'll be inspired to check out these new products on, like Jesse said, platonline.com slash new, where you can find and purchase these for yourself. And you don't want to miss out on that really great sale that Jesse mentioned. So let's get into it, Jesse. What do you think? Yeah, sounds good. Okay, so um, here we have some really beautiful uh, new uh, projects using our Folk Art Sugar Metallic paints. So our Folk Art Sugar Metallics is really exciting. It's like in the name, um, a beautiful textured metallic paint. So if we'll switch to the overhead here, I'll show you guys um, just how beautiful this really gorgeous, unique, sugary, textured metallic paint is. We have a lot of really beautiful vases that we've done here, um, just kind of showing off all of the new colors in the product line. But it's really unique and beautiful. You get that really subtle contrast of the really metallic um, nature of the paint and that really gorgeous, earthy kind of texture in our paint. So really exciting. There are 18 colors in the line, which is thrilling for me because <laughs> there's so many different possibilities, um, so many beautiful colors. We have your traditional silvers and golds and bronzes, but then we also have some really beautiful jewel tone inspired colors as well. Um, so I'll walk you through all of the new colors in a minute, but I just first wanted to go over all of the features and benefits to get you guys excited about the paint. It's indoor outdoor, so it's really great for um, seasonal crafting. If you're thinking about crafting for Halloween already, we're going to be doing a little demo showing you guys how easy it is to paint over a faux pumpkin, but it's um, indoor outdoor so you can have uh, a lot of beautiful indoor home decor pieces, but also um, put some really beautiful sugar metallic projects on your front porch for fall, for um, you know Christmas, all of that kind of stuff. It's multi-surface. So it goes really well on canvas, wood, terracotta, metal, glass. We love to um, recycle some glass bottles in the studio. So if you're done with like a liquor bottle or a wine bottle or even like a sparkling water bottle, um, it's a really great opportunity to um, you know, put a beautiful coat of sugar metallic on the bottle and really upcycle it and make it into something beautiful and new. I love the idea of upcycling. That would be such an easy project and such a great transformation. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so if you guys don't mind, I'd love to go through our full color line with you guys. So first we have Polar Ice, which is this really beautiful stark white color. We have Sandcastle, which is a really beautiful um, kind of, what, what would you call that, Jesse? Like, it really is like a sandy color, especially yeah. with that texture. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Next, we have our Crystal White, which is a beautiful off-white color. It's pretty. Our Fiery Copper, which you can see in this project here. That's probably one of my favorite ones. I love that one. Really? Mm -hmm. I love it, too. 
we have Prosecco, which is like that really typical, beautiful ro rose gold color that you would expect mm -hmm. to find in any line of metallic paints. Pink Copper. I love that one too. Maybe that Me one's too. my favorite. Evergold, which is that classic, um, really earthy gold color. Golden Light. Golden Hour, which is like that really traditional gold, that classic gold color. Mm. And then we get into our silvers, uh, Stellar Silver, Meteorite, which is a really beautiful dark silver color. Yeah, I love that Meteorite too. Me that too. is so stunning. Space Gray, Black Comet. And here we kind of get into some beautiful jewel tones. Starry Night, which is a really gorgeous navy color. You can see it in this project here. So beautiful. Mm. They really are very space inspired. I hadn't noticed that before. Yeah, aren't they? I think of them for home decor, but gosh, they're beautiful as like a space themed project. If you're doing a bedroom or something like that, I love that. Absolutely. Um, this is Teal Abyss, which I think this might be my favorite color, Jesse. Mm. We have this beautiful candlestick that we did, and we actually blocked it off so that the bottom half is our sugar metallic paints, and then the top half is that beautiful folk art flat. So it really provides a really interesting contrast in your home decor project. You can see how shiny it is on camera, Emma. That's absolutely gorgeous. Awesome. Okay, so that was our Teal Abyss, I think maybe my favorite color. Magnetic Purple, which we have a sample of here. So stunning. Mm. Smoky Quartz. I think this one might be one of my favorites too. <laughs> it's so we do this every choose. year. We always joke. Every new product we talk about is our favorite. We can't decide. <laughs> yeah, totally. Okay. And then lastly, we have Moon Dust. So uh, 18 beautiful colors of our sugar metallics. Um, and what do you think, Jesse? Should we do a little demo so you guys can yeah, see the paint please. in action? I think it's really important too. Um, we've got lots of people commenting, Emma, saying how they love these paints, but it's really important if you haven't used them to see that beautiful texture go onto a project um, and how easy it is to use. Absolutely. Um, so guys, let us know what your favorite color of Sugar Metallics is that we just went through. We would love to hear what yeah. you think at home. Okay, so what should we go with, Jesse? Hmm. I think I'll be biased and use my, um, should I use Teal Abyss? No, let's yes. use. <laughs> I love Teal Abyss. I think I'm going to use Pink Copper. Oh, that's my favorite. Okay, we'll that use, works. We'll use Teal Abyss later. <laughs> okay, so later this week we're going to get into it, but we have some really great surfaces here at Plaid. Um, terracotta surfaces, wood surfaces, plexiglass surfaces, MDF surfaces. Um, but we have this really great just traditional terracotta pot that you can find on PlaidOnline.com. And because it's indoor-outdoor, I thought that I would give you guys a little demonstration and show you um, how beautifully it goes onto a terracotta surface remove the tag really quick. I love that idea of just taking a really simple and expensive terracotta pot and then adding some of our sugar metallic paints and just really doing a makeover and making it so beautiful and look so um, expensive and high end. Absolutely. It really elevates just such a simple surface like a terracotta pot and makes it a really wow piece. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so this is our sugar metallic fiery copper. We've got some comments, Emma. Um, K Noir Designs said Teal Abyss is one of their favorites mm. for sure. Um, but they also love them all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and um, I know it's hard to choose. I know. Kayla said they love the blue. They can't remember the name, but that was their favorite. Yes. I think it's this, um, let me give you the color again, Starry Night, which mm. is this really beautiful dark blue vase. That is a really pretty one. Oh, gorgeous. So you guys will be able to see when I'm painting this out, but you can just see how great that coverage is right off the bat. But the really cool thing about our sugar metallic paints is that the more coats you apply to your surface, the more of that really sugary texture you're gonna see in your final piece. So if you want less of that texture, you can just apply one coat, but if you want it to be really dense sugar textured, then you can apply like two or three coats. That's a really great tip, Emma. Just You can get kind of like a light texture, uh, but you still get that metallic sheen, or you can add several coats if you wanted to. You could really just keep going, and you get that super, super dense texture. Yeah, absolutely. That's good to know. 
And as you can see, it just you all you need to do is just brush it on. It brushes on really beautifully. Mm -hmm. And then um, when you're cleaning your brush, all you have to do is just you know rinse it in warm soap and water, just like you would with a traditional acrylic paint. Another great thing um, about our sugar metallic paint is that it's water-based, non-toxic, made right here in the USA, which we all love to hear, right? Yeah, absolutely. And just a reminder, guys, um, I'm here in the comments, so make sure to comment because at the end of this session this morning, we're going to be picking a winner to win a bundle of our new products that we're talking about this week. So make sure to comment, say hello. We'd love to hear if you've already used our sugar metallic paints, if you had a chance to pick some up at the store or on Plaid Online, um, or if you're excited to use it, if you have some ideas for what you might paint um, using our sugar metallic paints, we'd love to hear from you. So make sure to, to check out the comments, make sure to um, participate in the chat so that we can choose your name at the end. Okay, so as you can see, how long did that take, Jesse? That was so fast. Like a minute? Yeah. Um, we painted a whole terracotta pot with our sugar metallic. It actually dries fairly quickly, which is good to know. Um, so we can probably get started giving this a second coat if you want. Awesome. But um, it's really easy to do. You can do it so quickly and make a lot of beautiful textured metallic pieces for your you know, we love a quick design. craft. That's great for making and selling too. It's kind of that time of year where holiday markets are coming up, so you can make some beautiful ornaments. Um, yeah. And these would be really quick for making and selling, and they have such um, a great impact when you see them hanging on a Christmas tree. They look so um, high end. Yeah, I love that idea. Beautiful. Okay, so that's our terracotta pot. Super simple to do, like Jesse said. Um, Making and selling is right around the corner, so it's a really great product to pick up to add little details to ornaments, um, things like that. So another fun thing that I wanted to share with you guys is um, I personally love using sugar metallics to add uh, textured metallic details to paintings. Ooh. So this is one of our paintings that you did, Jesse. Love it. Under our um, Let's Paint Live, which we'll talk about a little bit later this week. Um, so stay tuned for that. But I just wanted to show you guys how easy it is to add some really beautiful uh, textured metallic details to a painting like this. That's such a great idea, Emma. Yeah. Okay, so I think I'm going to go in with Fiery Copper. Which is a really beautiful rosy color and I'm just going to take a little flat brush and add some sugar metallic details to the petals of the flowers and the great thing about adding little details like this is that you can really add a lot of paint at once so you don't have to go back and keep on um, applying different coats the texture um, kind of holds its own, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So you can create some really beautiful texture pieces. I love this too for fall especially because these beautiful metallics and jewel tones just lend so well for like a Halloween even or fall color palette to make um, home decor, add to paintings like that. I especially love this for fall. Absolutely, me too. That looks great. So really simple to do, and it adds such an interesting dimensional element to your paintings, really, really simply. Maybe we'll add some to the corners. Beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna set this aside. And I would love to just kind of walk through some of the pieces that we've done with our sugar metallic paints. How's that sound? Yeah, it sounds great. We'd love to see them. Okay, so this really beautiful vase with this gorgeous dark silver color. Um, I feel like sugar metallic is just one of those paints that is a great you know, talking point for all of your home decor projects. I know at least for me, if I went into somebody's home and they had some sugar metallic pieces, um, it would definitely be a conversation starter. Mm -hmm. And then you get to tell that person that you actually made it yourself, um, which is really exciting. One of our favorite things, I think we talked about it a little bit before, but one of our favorite things is to go to our local thrift store, find some old uh, bottles, some recycled uh, 
you know, pieces like that and then give them a whole new life with sugar metallics, with flat, um, with a lot of our different unique lines of paint. Yeah. That's something about sugar metallic. It's just so unique. I don't think I've ever seen anything like it um, on the market in craft supplies. It's just, you know, you, there's lots of metallic paints in the market. Of course, we have the best with our treasure gold. Um, but the fact that it's textured too, I, like I said, I've never seen anything like it. It's just such a unique way to um, decorate and to craft. And like you mentioned, to upcycle things and really transform um, something ordinary into something extraordinary. Yeah, absolutely, Jesse. Um, I wanna show you another home decor piece that we did with our sugar metallic paints. So this is actually just a little plastic lion. Um, another great thing about our sugar metallic paints is that it's multi-surface. Um, this is just a little toy lion that you would find at your local craft store in that little plastic toy section. Um, we went ahead and we painted the upper half of the lion with um, our folk art flat. And then we painted the lower half with our sugar metallic paints. And then it gives like this you know simple toy lion that you would never think of to be home decor it gives it just a stunning um you know home decor look i love that super inexpensively too yeah super easy to do mm -hmm. okay so um sh i wanted to show you guys how easy it is to base coat a traditional faux pumpkin um, Halloween is just around the corner um, and like Jesse said sugar metallic lends itself really well to fall crafting with mm -hmm. those beautiful traditional metallic colors and also some uh, more jewel tone inspired colors yeah absolutely we love to see that um, really quick Kayla said um, that's what they're currently doing they thrifted a wall mirror and they're redoing it so let us know if you're using sugar metallic we'd love to see it and whenever you post online on Instagram, Facebook, any social media accounts, and you use Plaid products, make sure to hashtag Plaid Crafts so we can always see what you guys are doing. We love to be inspired by you. So let us know, Kayla. We'd love to see that mirror. Yeah, absolutely. That would be so beautiful mm -hmm. to um, paint the frame even with our folk art flat and then to dip it with our sugar metallics. That would be stunning. Or Definitely. to create kind of like a brush strokey blended look with our sugar metallics. Ugh, beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, so also don't forget to um, comment what your favorite sugar metallic color is, what you would do at home with sugar metallics, what you would do with folk art flat. Um, that way you will be entered into our giveaway and one lucky winner will walk away with some free product. Yeah. Super exciting. Okay, cool. So I think now I'm going to go for the teal of this, Jesse. Okay. <laughs> That'd be Let's beautiful. I'll show you guys just how easy it is to paint this pumpkin with our sugar metallic paints. And just a reminder, guys, um, we are having a sale on platonline.com right now. All new products are 30% off when you purchase $70 or more worth of products. So now's a really great time to go snag some of this new stuff we'll be talking about all week. Every day we'll be here on Facebook at 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. talking about all the new formulas we've launched this year. So. Um, Make sure to snag some on platonline.com slash new and make sure to check out all of our live streams all week long. Cool. All right, so you guys will see just how easy it is um, and just how it goes on really opaque, which is really nice. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, not always so common for a metallic paint to go on so opaque initially, you know? Yeah, definitely. It's got really, really good coverage. Yeah. And so just to clarify, this is a faux pumpkin, right, Em? Yes, this is a faux pumpkin, um, which we love to craft with around Halloween. Could you use it on a real pumpkin? Yeah, I think you could. Um, you know, obviously it would not last as long because mm -hmm. the pumpkin would rot. But initially, I think you could for a little while. Really pretty. Yeah. I know people love to um, paint real pumpkins, too, just because carving can be such a mess. So this is another fun way to decorate any kind of pumpkin you may be working on this year. Yeah, totally. And like we said, um, our sugar metallic paint is indoor-outdoor. So if you painted a pumpkin like this, you could place it on your front porch for Halloween. Great. Or fall. I love that color for fall, too. Me, too. That's really pretty. It's kind of one of those um, unexpected colors that would lend itself so well to a really beautiful fall home decor palette. Mm -hmm. It's not your traditional like umber or burnt orange or anything like that, but it um, still has that fall feeling to it. Yeah, it does. Linda said, I love these videos. I learn a lot and you always have great ideas. Thanks for sharing. Awesome. Well, thanks, Linda. That's why we do this every single year. I believe this is our third annual new product showcase. 
Um, so like we said, every year we spend a full week going over all of our new products with you guys, letting you know what they are, where you can purchase them, how you can use them, and giving you some inspiration. So again, we're going to be here all week. Um, this is our very first session of the week. We're talking about um, Folk Art Sugar Metallic and Folk Art Flat um, Paints. So we will be seeing you guys all week long. Yeah. We're so happy you're here. Yeah. Teresa said, I'm loving the sugar metallic colors, trying them on a clear glass vase with the frost effects paint. Ooh. That sounds really that pretty. That sounds really cool. I'd love to see that, Teresa. Yeah, make sure you hashtag plaid crafts when you're done, Teresa, because we would love to see that project. Yeah. That sounds stunning. Absolutely. So if you're just now joining us, we're talking about Folk Art Sugar Metallics. Um, and one of the things that we said in the beginning is that it's really up to you to decide how much texture you want to apply to your project. The great thing about Sugar Metallics is that you can use multiple coats. So for instance, um, one coat would leave you with less of that textured appearance, but you can continue to build on those coats for a more dense sugared look. Okay, great. And you guys can see now, this is just one coat and we already have really, really great coverage. So it's not really a matter of, um, you know, creating better coverage with more coats. It's really a matter of deciding what level of texture you want to have on your finished project. <laughs> Khadija said, I worked with other texture paints before. They are stiff and not versatile enough like Sugar Metallic. These are very functional t and um, to use on many different surfaces. Yeah, absolutely. I agree. And then Nancy said, I'm looking forward to trying. I have two projects I'm thinking of doing as gifts, so I might need to check these out. They look so different. They really are, Nancy. They're super unique. Um, I'm sure you haven't used anything like it before because I've never even seen anything like these paints. These sugar metallics um, are really, really unique, um, and I'm re really excited for you to try them. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we were thrilled when we heard that we were getting these new sugar metallic paints here at Plaid. They're just so unique. It creates a really beautiful, almost kind of old world feeling mm -hmm. to it. Um, of course, a bit of the new world with that metallic luster, um, but just a really beautiful, earthy appearance to yeah, it. Yeah, there's a little bit of a vintage feel to that. Mm -hmm. You're right. Okay, so um, like we said before, it's really easy to clean your brushes once you apply sugar metallic to your brush. You just rinse it in warm soap and water like you would do with any other traditional acrylic paint. Awesome. We okay. love an easy cleanup. Me too. <laughs> That's my favorite thing. Okay, so um, we've talked a lot about our Folk Art Sugar Metallics. Let's uh, do a little dive into our Folk Art Flat. So just like Sugar Metallics, it's indoor-outdoor. It's multi-surface, really great for seasonal crafting, but not so much like our Sugar Metallic is that it has a really flat matte appearance. So no sheen whatsoever. Um, and it's also really high opacity, which is really great. So I wanted to just kind of brush it out for you guys. These are two great products to talk about together because they really are absolutely opposite. So we've, mm -hmm. we've launched both of them this year, but they're kind of like on either end of the spectrum, like you said. Yeah, absolutely. Um, they're really great to combine together to create a really stunning visual contrast. So um, this is actually a brand new uh, surface of ours. We have some really great MDF letters that we've introduced this year, which we'll talk about later on this week when we go over all of our brand new plaid surfaces. But I thought um, it would be a really great way to show you guys just how beautifully the Folk Art Flat brushes out onto the surface. Okay, so I am using Folk Art Flat Grapevine, which is this really beautiful, rich purple color. And you can see really high coverage already. Mm. And it just brushes on so beautifully. Yeah, it really does have great coverage. Yeah. And um, you guys can see in the finished projects, I guess to the left of me, if you're watching from home, <laughs> um, we just have, uh, with our Folk Art Flat paint, you get that really beautiful flat appearance, no sheen, no glare. I mean, these are some pretty 3D surfaces that we have over here. Um, and you just get that really stunning flat look. Yeah, I've got this black candlestick over here. Um, and you can see we keep talking about the contrast between the sugar metallics and the flats, but you can see the difference. You've got this really shiny sort of um, dark bronze color with that sugary texture, and then the super, super flat, um, no brush strokes, 
folk art flat paint next to it, you can see that awesome contrast and how great they look next to each other. Um, but there really is. It's absolutely self-leveling. There's no sheen, so they're really beautiful. Yeah, that's another great thing, Jesse, that I forgot to point out, is that you really don't get any brush strokes in this paint, um, which is very unique to, you know, a lot of really super matte or flat paints on the market. You tend to get brush strokes just because of the nature of the paint. But that's one great thing about our Folk Art Flat, is that you can see, like, barely any brush strokes when it dries. It's totally self-leveling. You won't see any brush strokes in the finished dried piece. Mm. Kayla loves this color. Isn't this so pretty, this rich purple? Mm -hmm. um, so our folk art flat colors are inspired by um, really rich jewel tones. So we'll kind of walk through these different colors for you here. But look how easy that was to do. It paints out beautifully and similarly to our sugar metallics paint. Um, you just rinse it like you would, uh, you rinse your brush like you would uh, any traditional acrylic paint, similar to sugar metallic. I love it. Okay, so here are the colors in our Folk Art Flat line. We have um, our white color, which is coconut milk. Hmm. This beautiful gray crushed stone. Our grapevine, which you guys just saw in action. This really beautiful mauve color, cinder rose. I think that's one of my favorites. I think so too, I love that color. Um, flat iron, which is a really dark, almost black gray. Jungle green, which is a really vibrant, um, jewel toned green. This beautiful tan, it's always great to have some neutrals in your jewel tone palette. Mm -hmm. Almond latte. Dark truffle, this really cool brown color. And then finally, deep marine, which is a really stunning teal. That's pretty too. Yeah, and we used our deep marine on this candlestick here um, to show that stunning contrast between our teal abyss sugar metallic and deep marine folk art flat. That is a great example. So you can really see the difference between these two paints. Absolutely. But it look, they look so great together. Again, especially for fall. I know I keep saying that, yeah. but this is the perfect time of year to be talking about these two paints because they both have such beautiful jewel tone palettes available um, that are great for your fall decor. Absolutely. Okay, so one of the last things that I wanted to show you guys, we talked a little bit about it before, but it's really great to go to your local thrift store to find some, um, you know, uh, you know, recycled bottles and things like that um, and give them a whole new life. And these are two great paints specifically to do just that. Um, so this is a old tequila bottle that we had at home. Um, we brought it into the studio and uh, because of the unique shape of the bottle, we thought it'd be a really great piece to add some sugar metallic to. Mm -hmm. So just like any other glass piece that you would have at home before you start painting, you want to um, give it a nice wipe down with some rubbing alcohol, make sure it's really clean, no fingerprints on it. Um, if you want to, you can remove the labels. There's really no need to because there's not much texture to the labels um, mm -hmm. and the sugar metallic paint will brush really beautifully onto it. Okay. But what color should we use, Jesse? Ooh, um, let's see. We've got some interest in that midnight blue color. Maybe let's try that. Okay, let's starry that night. Yeah, I love that one. And I won't paint the whole bottle for you guys, but I just want to show you that it's really easy to paint on a glass piece like this. That is a really unique shape, Emma. I love that we're upcycling that because that's going to be a really pretty flower vase when you're done. Absolutely. I mean, think of all the things that you just throw away mm -hmm. or, you know, or you recycle it, but even still, you could have it as a really beautiful home decor piece for years and years. Or even a gift. I love the idea. Um, you know, a lot of people love to give flowers as, as gifts, especially if you have a garden. Um, one of our friends, Kirsten Jones, here in the studio is always picking flowers from her garden and giving them as gifts. So take some old recycle bottles right out of your recycling bin, put some sugar metallic on it, and give that as a gift with your flowers. That is just so personal and so pretty and so unique. Yeah, so easy peasy. Or you could ask your coworkers, like, hey, if you um, drink this sort of sparkling water or something, bring me all of your bottles. Uh, like Jesse said in the beginning, it's almost make and sell season with holiday markets, fall markets, if you're crafting at home for something like that. Um, ask your neighbors, ask your coworkers to give you their recycled bottles, some interesting ones um, so you can do something like that in you know 
yeah. sell them at your market. These paints are just so transformative. Absolutely. So I just wanted to show you guys, this is our sugary metallic starry night, that really beautiful rich navy color. I love that. And it just brushes on so beautifully to glass. And so like we talked about before, um, it's totally up to you how many coats you want to apply to your pieces. We recommend typically two coats just so you get that really textured, sugary appearance. But it's just so easy to do. I can't stress that enough. Um, and it's a really, you know, it makes a really great uh, conversation starter and talking piece to have something like this in your home on display. That's awesome. Um, Khadija said, my storage is full of glass bottles. So you need to make sure you try your um, sugar metallics on, or your flat on those glass bottles because you can really make a beautiful transformation with Absolutely. your bottle collection. <laughs> Absolutely. So you guys, just in the time that we were talking, I've already painted this much of my pretty big glass bottle here. Mm -hmm. um, it's only gonna take about five more minutes to paint this entire thing and to make it totally covered um, and have that really beautiful sugary texture. Um, but that's most of the demoing that I wanted to show you guys today. Again, I just want to go over all of the really exciting points of these two great paint lines. Um, in our Sugar Metallic line, we have 18 colors. Um, it's indoor-outdoor. It's really great for seasonal crafting. Um, you get a really gorgeous and unique textured metallic look with our Sugar Metallics paints. Um, really beautiful multi-surface, great coverage. And then with our Folk Art Flat, we have nine beautiful colors, um, no sheen, a really stunning matte appearance to your home decor pieces, to some of your painted pieces. Both of these paints are really great to add accents to some of your fine art paintings. They're also really great for upcycling, for um, just bringing uh, beautiful, rich new life to some of your old pieces. I love it. Thank you so much, Emma. Um, if you're just joining us, that was Emma Panuski talking about our brand new Folk Art Sugar Metallics and Folk Art Flat Paints, um, two beautiful brand new paints that we've launched here this year at Plaid, and two really great and different ways to use them. So Emma, thank you so much for talking about those. Um, we are here all week long talking about all of our brand new products that we've launched in 2023 on our new product showcase. So make sure to stick around every day at 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. Um, Eastern Standard Time. We'll be here. And each session will be doing a giveaway. So right now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pick out a person from the comments to receive a bundle of our brand new products that we're talking about this week. So our winner for this session is Nancy Lapore. So congratulations, Nancy. Yay. You have won some of our brand new product that we'll be talking about this week. So please go and give us a direct message on Facebook, direct message plaid, um, so we can get your information and send you some brand new products. And don't forget, guys, um, you could have a chance to snag some new product on platonline.com slash new. We are having an awesome sale right now for our new product showcase. You get 30% off of $70 or more. So make sure to check that out. Now's a great time to stock up on all of our new formulas and services um, and Mod Podge and so many things we'll be discussing this week. So again, join us every day. We've got two sessions this afternoon. I'll be back here with Bianca Octavia talking about our Folk Art Terrazzo paint, which is another really unique formula. Um, if you haven't seen it before, we'd love to have you join us. We'll be doing another giveaway then. So make sure to join us back here on Facebook at 3 p.m. And we'll see you then. Bye.